Can I self-petition with Form I-140? I can provide you with an overview of the self-petition process using Form I-140 for AU. Visa and offer guidance on the general immigration process. However, please note that immigration laws and procedures can be complex, so it's always recommended to consult with an immigration attorney or seek advice from the official you. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, website for the most up-to-date and accurate information. Form I-140, officially known as the Immigrant Petition for Alien Worker, is used to petition for employment-based immigration to the United States. It is typically filed by the employer on behalf of the employee. However, in certain situations, individuals may be eligible to self-petition using Form I-140 under specific employment-based visa categories. One common category for self-petitioners is the EB-1A, Employment-Based First Preference, Aliens of Extraordinary Ability. To qualify for this category, you must demonstrate extraordinary ability in the sciences, arts, education, business, or athletics. Extraordinary ability refers to a level of expertise indicating that you are at the top of your field. You must provide evidence of sustained national or international acclaim and that your achievements have been recognized in your field through extensive documentation. Another category is the EB-2 NIW, Employment-Based Second Preference, National Interest Waiver. To qualify for this category, you must show that your work is in the national interest of the United States. You need to demonstrate exceptional ability in the sciences, arts, or business, which would benefit the country significantly. Additionally, you must provide evidence that it would be in the national interest to waive the requirement of a job offer and labor certification. The specific requirements and evidence needed for each self-petition category can vary, so it's important to review the USCIS website or consult with an immigration attorney for detailed guidance. They can help assess your eligibility, guide you through the documentation process, and ensure that you meet all the necessary requirements. In addition to Form I-140, you may also need to go through other steps in the immigration process, such as filing for an adjustment of status or consular processing, depending on your current immigration status and location. Remember, immigration laws are subject to change, so it's crucial to stay informed and consult with a professional for personalized guidance based on your specific circumstances. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.